Hey, Fever fans. I'm back in Indiana. <laughs> We're joined by Tammy Sutton Brown for feverbasketball.com. Tammy, welcome. Thanks. It's been about three months uh, since we last sat here at the field house. Right. You've uh, come back, joined us for the holidays. Yes. Where have you been the last four months? Oh, the last four months. Let's see. Um, New York, Toronto, Vegas, Atlanta, Alabama. I've kind of been all over the last four months. Yeah, I've been all over the last four months. And wh in which location have you spent the most time over that length? Um, Atlanta. Okay. My family in Atlanta, and so um, family and friends in Atlanta, and that's where I've spent most of my, my downtime. All right. Now, I know that during this time you've had a big project. A big project uh, really for your whole career, and it's one of the reasons you didn't go overseas this year. Um, talk to us about that project and tell us exactly who are Cree and Scooter. And Cree and Scooter. Um, I've always always wanted to work with kids in, in one way or another. and um, I'd say probably about two years ago I was overseas and, and my, juice, my creative juices start flowing when I'm overseas and have a lot of time. So um, I was thinking about writing a children's book. And so this whole concept came about, um, Crazy Little Girl. It's kind of based off of my life, kind of, sort of, just me traveling the world and, and being able to see all these different places, cultures, um, experience different languages, people, and all that, et cetera, et cetera. So it's, it's a story based on this little girl who, in her dreams, her, her stuffed toy chameleon comes to life. And, and they take all these different adventures and travel around the world. And so it's somewhat educational, but it's an engaging story. So the kids, basically between, I want to say, about four to six, won't really know that they're being educated, but um, learn a few languages, um, travel with these, these characters um, to all these different countries and see different things. And um, it, it's been something fun. It's been a fun project that I've been working on. Mind you, I didn't think it was going to be as much work as it is, but it, it's been really good. How much time did it actually take to do the writing? How many drafts did you have to forego, undergo? That's a good question because I'm actually still tweaking and um, even did a, a, a book fair and um, got a lot of feedback from librarians and, and teachers and, and some of the kids that we've read the book to. Um, and so there, it's a long process because I want this book to be really good when I come out with it. I just don't want to push something out. So. Do you envision this perhaps being a series one day if it has success? I, I do. I do envision it to, you know, be a, a couple books, if not many books. So yes, that is the, the long-term vision. So after we read about Tammy Sutton Brown, basketball, all-star, World Traveler, <laughs> we're going to add children's author to that title? Just add author. Just add author. There you go. Yeah. All right. Now, I know one of the uh, activities that you had frequently through the foundation that you established in Toronto uh, has been a day of wellness. You've, yes. you've done that uh, both in Toronto and here in Indianapolis. Tell us about your days of wellness. Um, we just had one here again on December the 5th, and I plan on having another one in Toronto on December the 19th. But it's just a day where we go into a women's shelter, and we pretty much set up shop. And I have hairstylists, um, ladies who do manicures and pedicures. Um, and, and I actually have someone coming in to Toronto who's actually going to do makeup. So it's, it's a whole day. It's kind of like a, we try to turn it into a, like a mini beauty salon. Um, and so these women can just, these women can go in there and, and just enjoy themselves for a couple of hours and take their mind off of, you know, the, the, the hustle and bustle of each day. I mean, I know I like doing that myself. So, I mean, so we go in there and we present this to these women and we also usually have, um, companies who donate clothing. Um, I know last year the Fever got involved and, and we did a big um, clothing drive and that was very successful for the women. Where did this idea launch for you? Overseas as well. <laughs> a lot of stuff happens overseas. Um, it, I've always wanted to give back and because I spent so much time here in the WNBA um, as opposed to being in Toronto, being at home and then leaving from here and going overseas. Um, there's very little time to do anything, and so it was just something I know. It started off at Christmas back in Toronto, and, and I knew that I was going to be there for a certain amount of time. So it started off there, um, and then I just wanted to, to launch it and branch it. And I'm actually 
I'm going to do one next year, I believe January or February, in Orlando, Florida as well. So it's branching, which is a good thing. Talk about your foundation. Um, you've got uh, the, you've done some camps, you've done the days of wellness, and I know that you're not in Toronto a lot, but that is your hometown, that is your base. Yeah. What other uh, activities do you have planned for the foundation? Um, for the foundation, um, right now, like it is, day wellness. Um, it is doing some camps. Uh, once I retire <clears throat> in a few years, um, you know, I, I definitely want to get into some more stuff. But the whole base of the foundation is empowering, you know, young women and, and women in general. And um, just knowing that, you know, we can be successful, we can do whatever we want to do. And um, it, so there, there's a lot of different creative ideas, but they probably won't get put into place until I can actually physically be able to, you know, be there a lot more and do a lot more stuff. You play alongside another very powerful and engaging young lady by the name of Tamika Catchings. And uh, I understand you're going to be back in a couple of weeks from now, yes. uh, December 28th through, tw through the 30th, to give Tamika a little plug. Um, what will you be doing during that time? Um, Tamika Catchings is having her camp here. And Tamika is one of my favorite people. And we were just talking one day, and we were I don't even remember what we were talking about, and, and she just threw it out there. And... Of course, you know, me being here, I know I wasn't going to be overseas at the time, and so I agreed to come in, I believe on the 29th, and, and speak to some of the kids at her camp. And um, it's one of those things where, you know, fever help out fever. And I know, you know, when I'm going to need her, she's going to be there in Toronto one day. Yes, you will. She's going to be there in Toronto one day. So it, it works hand in hand, and, and I'm looking forward to it. Now, one of the reasons that you're available to do that now is because you're not playing overseas, but Correct. traditionally you have played in Turkey for the last four, four years. years. Yes. Um, got any plans for a couple of months, or are you going to take it easy till you train for the W season? Um, I don't really know yet. I, I'm, it's kind of up in the air. Today is the 16th of December. Um, I know there's always teams looking for players after Christmas, after the New Year. So... Um, it, I'm sure my agent will give me a call in the next few weeks and, and we'll, we'll see what happens and then I'll decide. I mean, either way, I'll be fine. Um, looking forward to get back during the summer though to see you guys on the court. And if you're not overseas, yes. any plans to be back here for the Final Four here at Conseco Fieldhouse? If I'm not overseas, I'll be here. All right. And you're hoping that uh, Rutgers might make the Final Four this year? <laughs> All right, Tammy Sutton Brown, we want to thank you for joining us. Any holiday wishes for the Fever fans? Um, wishing everybody happy holidays, Merry Christmas, enjoy with your family, and um, yeah, just enjoy with your family. It's, it's family time, you know. I, as soon as I leave here, I'm heading back to mine in Toronto. So. Merry Christmas, Tammy. Thank you.